So we've got fins glued and taped. Looks pretty straight. They're looking okay to me. Um, I think we're ready to move on to the next step. Now, I will say we, we do want to keep the weight down low minimal. We don't want much weight down at the bottom. Some is unavoidable. We're putting the fins down here, the tape down here, but we want the pressure low, meaning we want air friction down at the bottom. We want the weight up high. So we try and keep the weight down on the bottom and we add more weight on the top when we get ready to attach bottles. So that will be the next step. We'll show you here in a second. We've got a second bottle. We're going to attach it on top. Uh, as I mentioned, you can just, they, they kind of nest together pretty nice. These ones are a little loose. Uh, I don't like that as much, even though it does make the rocket a little taller. If you want to cut the bottom off of this bottle, so we can use this for a nose cone, you bring me this. I'm going to poke a little hole in it with a special tool. I'm going to poke a little hole wherever you tell me to poke the hole. Once there's a hole in there, you can take your scissors and you can just cut however you want all the way around that box. And again, we cannot poke holes in this. This is our motor bottle. This one doesn't matter. And now you'll notice it'll fit right over top of there. And uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, the trick with this part is we want it straight. It's, it's really easy, I'll exaggerate so you can see it, but it's very easy to make it crooked. Uh, we want to keep it as straight as possible. So I like to slide it on, push it a little bit, and then spin it and observe and kind of tweak it back and forth until I get it as straight as I can. Maybe look down the length of the two bottles. Make sure they look like they're good. Uh, and when it's good, it doesn't look too bad right there. We're just gonna wrap a strip of tape around this. I'm not gonna glue it or anything. Just get a piece of tape and tape it up. Making progress.